Don't be scared. You're safe now. You have ruined my life. Ruined your life? How? You do not understand. I have to be sacrificed. It is my duty. I can understand you wanting to be eaten, but frankly, dinosaurs don't strike me as being your type. You, by your interference, have condemned our king to death. So, let me get this straight. You die, Big Chief lives. Of course, not any sacrifice can save the life of the king. But the gods might accept the life of Natalia, his daughter. Except that now you have made that impossible. So you're a princess. I knew royalty was strange. How did you people get to be in charge if you slaughter each other at the first sign of trouble? My name is Natalia. I am a princess and the only daughter of the king. You, by your manner, are quite common. Uh-huh. Well, Princess, I'm not Prince Charming, but if you want my help, I guess I'm stuck here. I am a princess. I don't need your help or anyone else's. But if you're going that way... Jack Thompson at your service, Your Highness. See you later. the Girl Scouts? Not in that uniform, I guess. Hey look, is there any way you could stop just standing there and maybe make yourself useful? I have been thinking. Something you don't do much of, I've noticed. I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm busting my ass trying to get us out of here. 
Maybe, just maybe, you'd like to help. Some of the things you have said to me are quite rude. I'm really not sure about you, Jack Thompson. I suffer from colloquial American. A lot of people do. I'm so sorry, Jack. What can I do to help? When I pull on the rope, you pull too, okay? I will pull as hard as I'm able, Jack Thompson. But I cannot forget some of the things you have said. man to fall out of love with, Jack Thompson. Come here. Where exactly? Here. Right here. I think I like some of your customs, Jack. What was that? One of the oldest. Still fashionable, though. I enjoyed helping you, Jack Thompson. I want to help you again. We have to go, and we have to go now. All work and no play makes Jack a very dull boy indeed. Come here. Getting a little cramped. You got any bright ideas about that crocodile? Crocodiles are always hungry, Jack. Maybe if you tied some food onto this vine. Good thinking. Except, what do we use for bait? My leg, perhaps? No, Jack. You'll need your leg later, I'm sure. How about a little lizard? Now that sounds workable. I'll go shoot one. Use the thunder stick, Jack.
princess. I'll catch you later. Wait here, princess. I'll catch you later.
suppose you know which way to the nearest interstate, Shorty. You have much to learn, young man. Gee, it talks. What carnival did you escape from? I am Toron, and while much of what you say is unknown to me, I cannot help but notice your tone is less than respectful. You know this guy, Princess? If he is Tauron, and I have no reason to doubt it, he may help us. The wisdom of Tauron is legendary. I am the Tauron of whom you speak. And yes, Princess Natalia, I am privileged to be numbered among the wise. I guess there ain't a lot of room for modesty in there. Okay, short stuff, what's happening? I have waited many moons for you, Jack Thompson. Not everything in the world is as simple as you would like to believe. There are forces at work here which must be resolved, and you, Jack Thompson, are the man to do it. Well, I can't get any weirder, I guess. Keep talking. The fabric of your reality has been torn by the conflict raging there. This dimension is separate from, but aligned to the reality you know as your home. This island is the island of Yagmar in the Coral Sea. In times past, it was ruled by the Snake Men, who enslaved all those who fell through from your world. But the Snake Men grew crueler and more decadent, until one day the men rose up and all but vanquished them. We've had a few revolutions, not all of them good ones. Your politics are no concern of mine, but if you stay in Yagmar, you would be well advised to heed my counsel. I'm not planning on staying, but right now I can't see any exit signs. If I understand you correctly, you wish to leave us. But first, you must understand that your fate and the fate of the island of Yagmar are inextricably intertwined. Neat, Jack. That's great. You fell through a hole in reality, and now all you gotta do is save the world. Gee, Jack, you get all the good breaks. Okay, where to now? The king of Yagmar is mortally ill. The island is now ruled by the iron fist and bloody hand of Telquad, formerly the most trusted advisor of the king, but now a man whose ambition will destroy all that has been built. Only one person stands between Telquad and victory, and that person, Jack Thompson, is you. Right. Okay. So if I help you, you'll help me get back to... Uh... My dimension. I cannot help you, but the king, if he lives, may be able to assist you. Somebody explain to me why I don't feel overjoyed by all this. Okay, princess. Shall we hit the trail? One last thing, Jack Thompson. A word of advice. A gift given freely to one of the wise may reap a great reward. Princess, take a torch, why don't you? Natalia, throw the torch in the hole. Do it!
tribe of the city of the Snake Men. My people conquered them years before I was born, but this, their greatest city, remains a trap for the foolish and unwary. To enter will almost certainly result in your death. I think... I think you are very brave, Jack Thompson. Great. So what am I supposed to do? The cliffs that surround the city are fatal to anyone attempting to scale them. The ruins are still inhabited by Merians. They may appear primitive by your standards, but they fight like demons. You will need the use of that magic noisemaker to defeat them. Oh, Jack Thompson, you are so brave, and death is almost certain.
Thompson.